introduce both teams, beginning with Hudson. Leading off the center fielder, number six, Thomas DiPatista. Batting second, the shortstop, number four, Lance Juris. Batting third, the second baseman, number two, Mike Ryan. The catcher bats fourth, number one, Mike Chavis. Batting fifth is the first baseman, number 12, Noah Stewart. Batting sixth, the designated hitter, number 19, Connor Olgerholm. Batting seventh, the right fielder, number 16, Matt Gerard. Batting eighth, the third baseman, number three, Chris Lennox. And batting nine from playing left, number 15, Sam Stewart. Pitching for Hudson is number 14, Jake Elliott. Hudson is coached by Ryan Bowen. This is awesome. And now for Ashland Post 77. Leading off playing left field, number 13, Sam Farrell. The center fielder, number 14, Brandon Grover. Batting third, the shortstop, number five, Jackson Hornon. The third baseman bats fourth, number 22, Dom Cavanaugh. Batting fifth, the catcher, number 15, Sean Jewett. Batting sixth, and playing first, number 34, Alex Amalfi. Batting seventh, the second baseman, number two, Cole Glassburn. The designated hitter bats eight, number four, Drew Rancatori. And batting ninth, and playing right field, number 19, Nick Calabrese. Pitching tonight for Ashland is number 11, Owen Ward. Ashland is coached by Jake Obed. And now, ladies and gentlemen, if you could please remove your hats as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Mahan Field here in Natick as Ashland Post 77 takes on Hudson Post 100 and the first game of the Zone 5 playoffs. First pitch just moments away. Tom Nappy, Larry Sacklad on the call. Connor Donovan on camera. Hudson is the away team as they are the fourth seed. Ashland is the first seed. Let's take a look at the Hudson Post 100 lineup. Leading things off is the center fielder Thomas D. Batista. Batting second and playing shortstop is Lance Jaras. Uh, batting third playing second base Mike Ryan. Catching and batting cleanup is Mike Chaves. Batting fifth is the first baseman Noah Stewart. DHing hitting six, Connor Ogerholm. Batting seventh, the right fielder, Matt Gerard. Batting eighth, the third baseman, Chris Lennox. And batting ninth, playing left field is Sam Stout with the Ashland Post 77 defense. Here is Larry Sackla. Thanks, Tom. Good afternoon. You have Dom Cavanaugh at third base, Jackson Hornung at short, Cole Glassburn at second base, Alex Amalfi at first base, Sam Farrell in left, Brandon Grover in center, Nick Calabrese in right. Sean Jewett is behind the plate today, catching Owen Ward. It is a very hot Saturday afternoon out there. Not for us. Absolutely. <laughs> We're in a, the most 
one of the most beautiful press boxes I've ever seen here at Mahan Field in Natick. It is certainly a treat to be in a facility such as right here at Mahan Field. Tremendous, tremendous press box. I'm very impressed. Taking a look at Owen Ward on the season, he has pitched 16 and a third of an inning. He's pitched in four games. He's started two. He's 2-0 two and o on the mound, 257 ERA. The last time we saw him, he struggled a little bit, but Cole Glassburn came in and saved the day. That was against Lowell, I believe, where Ward struggled a little bit, but he has been pretty lights out throughout much of the season, Larry. Well, I'd like to thank the six fans from Ashland Post 77 for coming down. Looks like they're outnumbered two to one anyway. <laughs> and uh, hopefully that's not an indication on how the game will go. I'm sure there's still people filtering in. But we are ready to get things underway. Thomas D. Batista will start it off for Hudson Post 100 against Owen Ward. And the Zone 5 playoffs are underway here at Mahan Field in Natick. The winner of this game will advance to play the 7 o'clock game tomorrow in the winner's bracket. The loser will play the 4 o'clock game. It's a double elimination format. So after Sunday, there will be at least one team eliminated from the postseason as Ward is set to deliver to Di Batista. And the first pitch is in there for a strike. We're going to have a problem with this home plate umpire already. He's uh, missed a delay. Wind up in the pitch. A little bit. See, we're going to have a problem. <laughs> There's a strike. A little bit of a delay call there. Yeah. Go in two. I know you're excited, but you're going to have to keep your anticipation down a little bit. I'm going to try. This is up the middle. It takes a couple hops on the grass. Picked up by the shortstop. Throw to first is high. And it'll sail all the way into the fence. Di Batista going to advance with ease to second. No, maybe not with ease. The throw over to second. They got him. How about that? An overthrow. And Di Batista, I think, kind of took his time a little bit going to second base. I don't think he was going for full speed. And he no. was thrown out. I think he took for granted that he was going to have second easy. But Sean Jewett. Uh, running down the line, he was able to get that ball, put it in the ground, and throw a strike to second base. Lance Jaross steps in, and he takes ball one. So it was the E6 from Horning, a rare throwing error. And then they get Di Batista trying to advance to second. Swing and a miss. That's a strike. <laughs> Just so you know, <laughs> if you don't hit the ball after it's pitched, then you swing, that's a strike. Thanks, Larry. All right. Thanks for clearing that up. You don't have to us. wait for the umpire to strike two. One and two. So Owen Ward uh, working pretty quickly to start off this game. Wind up and the pitch. A little bit inside there, two and two. Oh, last time Hudson and post-77 uh, matched up was at uh, Ashland. It was a 9-2 victory by post-77. That's back. fouled away into the backstop. Post 77 has outscored Hudson 26 to 5. Yeah, but you remember last year Hudson came into Ashland and walked away 2 to 1 victors. That's right. And there is strike three. So Jaraz strikes out two away. That'll bring up Mike Ryan, the second baseman today. Mike Ryan going to Framingham State. I was told he was going to St. Anselm last summer, but apparently made a change or had a change of heart. Wind up and the pitch. Just outside, one and oh. He's their spark plug. We're tuned into Ashland Legion Baseball, either live on the HCAM YouTube page or on HCAM in Hopkinton, WACA TV in Ashland, or HCAT in Hollister. Swing and a miss there. Kid doesn't get cheated. One and one is the count. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. One and two.
Mike Ryan would like nothing better than him. You get an extra base hit, base hit or something better. There's strike three. There it is, and that'll wrap up the top of the first to the bottom of the first we go. You're tuned in to Ashland Legion Baseball in the Zone 5 playoffs on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. We are set for the bottom of the first. Let's take a look at the Ashland post-77 lineup. Starting things off is the left fielder, Sam Farrell. Batting second is the center fielder, Brandon Grover. Batting third, playing short, Jackson Horning. The third baseman, Dom Cavanaugh, is hitting cleanup. Sean Jewett, the catcher, hitting fifth. Alex Amalfi, the first baseman, hitting sixth. Cole Glasper in the second baseman hitting seventh. Drew Rancatori, the DH hitting eighth. Nick Calabrese, the right fielder, hitting ninth. As set to deal is Jake Elliott, and we'll get you the defense right after this pitch to Sam Farrell. Here's Larry Sacklad with the Hudson post-100 defense and 0-1 count. Bill post-100, Chris Lennox at third base. Lance Jarris at shortstop. Mike Ryan, second base. Noah Stewart at first. We'll wait for this next pitch. Foul back. Left to right, Sam Stout, Thomas Di Batista, Mike Gerard, Mike Chaves behind the plate, catching Elliott. There you have it. How about this uh, wind up here for Elliott? Almost looks like he's working from the stretch constantly. That's fouled into the backstop. I don't mind a pitcher working from the stretch. They don't have to worry about their foot uh, turning, that right. extra move. So more on balance. A lot of the major leaguers are adopting the uh, pitching out of the stretch. I'm talking about starters. And this is hit in the air over to center field. De Batista's under it and it makes the catch. One away, that'll bring up Brandon Grover. I don't know about you, Tom, but I think post-77 has got to start out fast. They can't get lulled into sleep against any team in this playoff. I agree. Fast and furious, just like they did all season long. Brandon Grover has hit very well this season, a 455 batting average, 512 on base percentage, fouled into the backstop, 0-1. Jackson Hornung on deck, Dom Cavanaugh behind him. Elliott set to deal. Shakes off the first sign, likes the second. Here's the pitch. Fouled away. Well, already Elliott's had to throw quite a few pitches, some good battles early on. Brandon Grover pitched an inning of relief two games ago. He's very, very impressive. Threw about 10 or 11 pitches, struck out the side. And he's, oh, sorry, go ahead. Well, he's he and Dom Cavanaugh are going to be the uh, aces for Ashland High School next year. They'll certainly have some good pitching over at Hopkinton. Looking at the weather out there, well, we oh. are very comfortable in a nice air-conditioned press box. On the field, there's an excessive heat warning, and the temperature is currently 96 degrees, and it feels like 114. As this is hit off the glove of the shortstop, and that is going to be a single for Grover. I'm not giving that an error because that would have been a very tough play to make for no. Jaraz. And a base hit all the way. Grover's got good speed. So we'll see Elliott's move, and we'll see what uh, Chaves does behind the plate. So Horning will step in. So we certainly hope all the players out there are certainly hydrated for oh, today's yeah. game. I checked out the dugouts, at least post-77s, and I get lots of uh, refreshments in there. The first pitch to Horning's a ball. And this is a great facility too because if anybody starts struggling out there, they can come into the press box a little bit and cool down. They gotta be credentialed though. That's right. Yeah. Hornung hit a 459 during the season, a 500 on base percentage. Runner on first, one out, wind up and the pitch. Outside. Yeah, you were waiting on that one, weren't you? I was, you gotta <laughs> wait a little bit here. Two and oh is the count. Right field are playing awful deep for Jackson Hornung, who's got that open stance. Elliott deals. This is hit high in the air over to center field. It's caught. Two away. I'll bring up Dom Cavanaugh, the third baseman and cleanup man today. He's hitting a 353 on the season, 522 on base percentage. He has driven in 10, scored 14.
And umpire looking over at Coach Obit. Oh, there was a baseball there. What's that? I'm sorry. Coach Obit had to throw a baseball into the dugout. There was a loose baseball out there in the field of play. Uh, well, they better be behaving in that dugout. Runner taking off from first. The throw up to second. Not in time. A stolen bag for Brandon Grover. Smart running by Grover. He slid to the inside part of the bag. Mike Ryan was on the back side of the bag. Brandon Grover is now four for four on the season with stolen bases. 325 down the left field line. Check swing. He held. Nope. <laughs> you got to calm down. You got You're amped up. Calm down. He'll give you the call. <laughs> 334, the left, left center field gap. Dominic's got that type of power to hit it right back at us. Two and two. Elliot doesn't have uh, much in his hose. He's got to be nibbling this afternoon to be effective. Well, you got to consider, too, that Hudson just played a double header against Lowell to end the season. So you wonder the toll that took on the pitching. As this is hit over to center field, it's caught for the third out of the inning. We are scoreless as we head to the top of the second on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Yeah. yeah. All right. Here we go. Top of the second inning, 4-5 and 6-2 up for Hudson. Mike Chaves, Noah Stewart, and Connor Ogerholm. Wind up and the pitch from Ward outside. One thing being in the press box, Tom, we can't hear the pop of the mitt. That's right. You really got to pay attention today, Larry. This is hit foul. One and one. Well, you wonder how the uh, heat is going to affect these players as the game goes on. We'll see. This is a slow roller up the middle, grabbed by the shortstop, throw to first, no problem. Six to three, four out number one. Warning with a nice throw over. That'll bring up Noah Stewart, the first baseman. Noah Stewart actually pitched the winning game for Hudson over Lowell in that doubleheader, and that was the game that got them into the playoffs. If they lost that game, they wouldn't be here right now. Yeah, they would. They were going at a pretty good clip, that ball outside, and then they just took a slide. Right. Lost a few games in a row, and then they had to fight for their uh, lives to not get bumped out of the playoffs. They lost four of their last six. As this is hit in the air, past the reach of the second baseman, Cole Glassburn. It's a one-out single for Stewart. I'll bring up Connor Ogier home, the designated hitter. Decent piece of hitting by Stewart. Inside out swing, just over the head of Cole Glassburn. Owen Ward's got a pretty good move over to first base. Line up in the pitch, there's a swing and a miss. Ward working from the stretch with a runner on first, one out. Not much of a lead over there at first base. He deals, this is up the middle, right back to Ward. Throw to second for one, now the throw over to first. In time, one, six, three. To end the inning, we will head to the bottom of the second on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the second inning, five, six, and seven do up, four post 77. Sean Jewett, Alex Amalfi, and Cole Glassburn face Jake Elliott. Here's the hero of last game. Great second base player, Sean Jewett. It was tremendous, and you could see He's all. Robbie Alomar, Jr. You could see all of his uh, second base highlights in the latest Ashland Legion highlights package. Multi-purpose player. Absolutely. Use him anywhere on the field, I think. Just great instincts. Wind up and the pitch. Up high. I think Coach Obed, if I, if I know him, preach patience before they went out to uh, take their at-bats this half inning. Here's the 2-0. Oh, nice and there's a strike. Oh my God, he too long. You're getting 
you're getting into the groove with this umpire. I'm starting to. Yeah. Typically, you don't have to wait this long. The anticipation is just killing me. This is hit in the air over to center field and caught. Dropped. Oh. It's dropped by the center fielder. Here goes Jewett over to second base. And he is going to be safe on the error. It looks like Di Batista might have just lost it in the sun at the last Four possible second. Or it just slipped out of his glove. He was just drifting back there. Good thing that Jewett was continuing to run. Yeah. He just drifted, drifted, drifted. And maybe he felt like he was close to the fence. But uh, you've got to give him an E8 on that. I mean, Certainly bad do. play. Jewett handing Coach Obid uh, some padding as Alex Amelfi will step in. Alex Amelfi's played in eight games this year, 278 on the season, 435 on base percentage. But he's also been utilized as a pitcher for post 77 and will be utilized more heavier as a pitcher during the postseason. That is a strike, a delayed strike. Look <laughs> side to me, Larry. We got a great view of the strike zone yeah. today. Jarris at shortstop just smacking his glove a little bit. Keep Jewett close. It's outside. One and one. Di Batista was getting a lot of work out there in center field and, you know, sort of mystifying what happened out there, out there on that ball hit by Sean Jewett. He actually caught all three outs in the first inning. Jewett with a bit of a lead at second base. This is hit in the air, right side, foul territory. Is it catchable? No. A slide by Mike Ryan, but he couldn't get to it. Well, more fans starting to show up. They're trickling in. There's not a... Uh... <laughs> They're going uh, to get their lemonades and waters before they get here to stay hydrated. And the fan areas are shady, so that's certainly a good thing. Yep. Good hamburgers downstairs if you're waiting for the concessions. They'll be opening up soon. This is hit up the left side. That'll drop into left field. Here comes Jewett around the score, and he will score with ease. It's 1-0 post 77. Now heading to second is Amalfi, and he's safe. Just beats the throw. That bobble by Stout gave Amalfi second base. RBI double for Alex Amalfi, and now Cole Glassburn will step in. You're not going with a single Actually, and an error? you're right. Nope, that is a single, and he advanced on the throw. So it's a single, he advanced on the throw. Here's Cole Glassburn. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. <laughs> Last burn hit a 370 during the Legion season. Yeah. Played in nine games, 414 on base percentage. Scored eight runs, drove in four. He's got warning track power, but not home run power. It's outside. And he's pitched very well for post 77. He's a guy you could see uh, take the hill in the postseason. Yeah. I was speaking to his high school coach last night. He really liked him. On the, him, on the mound. There's a bunt up the left side foul. Glassburn has thrown 14 and two thirds of an inning this Legion season. He's pitched in three games, started two. Two wins, no losses, a 190 ERA. Pretty impressive stuff yeah. by the Hopkinton Hiller. Runner on second, no outs, a run in, four post 77. Line up and the pitch. Outside. Two balls, two strikes. Drew Cacciatore on the on-deck circle. Elliott takes a look at second and deals. Breaking pitch hit up the right side. Glove by the second baseman. Ryan throws the first, gets the out. But Amalfi does advance the third, then has to slide back as the first baseman threw over. So yeah, that was dangerous throw by Stewart across the diamond. Certainly was. So a job well done by Glassburn as he did advance Amalfi. There's one out, runner on third. Drew Rancatori will step in. 
Rancatori has battled a hamstring injury throughout this Legion season. Gets a piece of this one, though. Hit in the air to center field. Could be trouble. It's caught. And the runner from third going to tag. Here comes Amalfi. And it's a sacrifice RBI flyout for Drew Rancatori. 2 0 post 77. Amalfi could have walked to him on that one. That would have hit pretty deep, about 350 feet. It certainly was. Nick Calabrese will step in. He hit a 300 during the regular season, a 404 on base percentage. Fouled away. Ashland's ready to turn their lineup over with Sam Farrell on deck. We got a scoreboard to look at, balls and strikes. We got all the uh, we got comforts of home. We got everything we could ask for, Larry. And this is hit in the air, and that'll drop into right field. That's going to be a hit for Calabrese. Two out single. That'll bring up Sam Farrell. The left fielder number 13. Sam Farrell voted with the voted by the fans of the nicest derriere on post 77 at the last Hudson game. I'm not I'm not joking. I I that's serious. Dead serious. You, you, you've done some great research, Larry. No, no, I got it right. <laughs> text right to my phone. Farrell during the season hit a 148. 294 on base percentage. Yep. Farrell got great speed, so if he hits the ball on the ground and they try and make a play on him on the first base, they better hurry up. Ooh, Ooh pitch inside. inside. Elliott set to deal. Runner on first with a slight lead. And this is hit in the air over to left field and caught. That'll be the third out of the inning, but post 77 plates two runs and they lead it two to nothing as we head to the top of the third on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the third inning in post 77 will certainly need some offense now after Lowell ties up the game at two. Jackson Hornung, Dom Cavanaugh, Sean Jewett do up this inning. Pat Crowley pitching very well for Lowell up to this point. Or at least last inning he did. The first inning not so much, but last inning he was pretty lights out. Win no factor tonight. Right. Down low. Well, that last inning, I don't know. That post-77 defense. Poor defense. Yeah, they looked... That stuff will not win championships. Nope, I'm sorry, but it won't. Certainly won't. There's a strike, two and one. There aren't too many ballparks around Legion Ball anyway that can hold Jackson Horn on. He gets a hold of one. And this is hit in the air, left side. And that's a fair ball. And is that out of here? Ground rule double. Ground rule double. Jackson Horning with the ground rule double. That's just what the doctor ordered, 4 post 77. Yeah, so on that one, that actually bounced first on the dirt, then bounced on the top of the fence, and finally over for a ground rule double. Now Dom Cavanaugh will step in. Hornung is two for two with a pair of doubles. Two hard hit balls, and they're going to intentionally walk Dom Cavanaugh. So again, does that count as four pitches on his fit, a pitch count? I don't believe it does. I would be very surprised if it does. Well, we got the commissioner in house. Maybe he knows. Runners on first and second. Sean Jewett at the plate. Huge opportunity here for the catcher. They're suspecting a bunt. Hassett is playing way in at first base. The catcher number 15, Sean Jewett. Pat Crowley taking his time. Looks at second. The bunt is down the third base line. Hassett will have a real difficult time backpedaling the first base. Wind up and the pitch. Hit high in the air, right side behind the plate, and it is dropped by the catcher, oh. Oh. Kyle DeRoma, who gave it all he had. Tough break. 
0 oh and 1. Sean Jewett, I'm sure glad that his opposite number there uh, dropped that ball. He's got another life. Yeah, I think he needs to say patient here, Larry. You said in the first inning that patience was going to be a virtue. Yep. And uh, that wasn't very patient right there. First pitch swinging happened last night. Yeah, you have 2 1, no one out. Wait for your pitch. Crowley set to deal. There's a strike. Oh, and two. So what he thought of bunting right now has been taken away. No. Nope. Oh, two. Swing away. Just don't hit a ground ball. There's the O2. Down low. Runners stay put. Good stop by DeRoma. I can't tell DeRoma and Johnny Donovan apart, to be honest with you, defensively. The one two pitch. The runner back to second. Play I'm talking about. They practice it. They're trying to pick Horning off. Didn't work that time. No. The element of surprise. We're knotted at two here in the bottom of the third. Two on, no outs for post 77. Jewett's going to pop this one up. Right side, and it is dropped in foul territory. Count remains one and two. Can't call that E9. It's a foul ball. I'm not sure what he's doing over there at third. Thank you. But you can't give the right fielder an error on that one. That was just too difficult to play. I agree. That would have been a tremendous catch if he was able to make it. Crowley would like to have it as a catch, but no such luck. That's a few balls now down that right field line that haven't been grabbed. Missed chances at outs. One for Calabrese. Checking at first, runner back safe. Morning was waiting to see if there was an overthrow. See if he could take off from second. Rarely see that with first and second, then pick off over at first. Hassett must have snuck in behind Dom. The one, two, up high. Due up next is Cole Glassburn. Right fielder is so far up the line. 2-2 two -two pitch. Gets a piece of this one. Into left field it goes. That'll drop in. Hornung being waved around. The throw in is going to be cut off. And Hornung puts post 77 back on top. It's a 3-2 ball game. An RBI single for Sean Jewett. Jackson Hornung had no designs on sliding there. It would have been a train wreck if DeRoma stuck out his shoulder. I think he would have got the worst of it. Tom Cavanaugh up to second. Now Cole Glassburn will step into the batter's box. Still no outs in the inning. And luckily for all involved on that play, the throw was not on target. Yeah. So if it was, that would have been a lot more interesting, but it's off the line anyway. Coach Gath wants a word with Crowley. I wonder what the leash will be on him. Great at bat there by Sean Jewett. He gets that second chance on that non-catch down the right field line and he makes the most of it. Yeah, just over the glove of Velasquez. Yep. You know, Larry, that's what good players do. Yep. Well, it's twice tonight, I think, Jewett has had a shot over Velasquez. Yes, although the first one was a fly to left. That, that, that ball was stung. So Glass, Glassburn will step in. He walked his last time up. Okay. Glassburn in a ball if you scored that. Top of the fourth inning, a six to two lead for post 77. They played four runs in the bottom of the third. And it appears we have a pinch hitter for Lowell. Oh, he's wearing the wrong jersey. Okay, so Aiden Foyle will step in. He's wearing number 10 today. 
The right fielder, number five, wearing number ten, and boy. <laughs> yeah, nice job by Matt Lodi addressing the jersey concerns there. To recap the bottom of the third, Jackson Hornung started off with a double. Dom Cavanaugh was then intentionally walked. Sean Jewett with an RBI single to score Hornung. Uh, Glassburn had a single as well. That would put two on the base at that time. And then Amalfi reached on a force out at home plate as the first pitch to foil his ball one. And then a two RBI single scored Jewett and Glassburn. And then Nick Calabrese reached on a fielder's choice and drove in another run. There is a strike, one and one. We're in the top of the fourth inning, a six to two ball game. With Luke uh, out there, he's missing. He's missing in the outside part of the plate. Can't seem to nibble there. And this is up the middle, takes a couple hops on the grass, a very slow roller picked up by Kavanaugh, he, and he doesn't have a play on it. Stick Aiden a fork at it. Aiden so foil good. reaches. Well, uh, Lowell has made good contact today. Eight hits on the day for Lowell. Uh, wipe the blood off that baseball. Luke Silva will step in. This kid's a pest. He's probably a nice kid in real life, but baseball field is a pest. Up high. Silva singled at his only plate appearance back in the second inning. Outside. You don't want to lose a nine hitter. He's just not getting that outside corner. Checking at first. Runner back safe. Two and oh is the count. Pitch is up high, three straight balls from Gustafson. Are we on a seven second delay, Tom? I thought I heard uh, your voice. Just in case I. Testing out the live feed. Oh, okay. Multitasking. There's a strike. Get me over fastball. Three and one is the count. Fouled into the backstop. Now with two strikes, he definitely doesn't want to lose Silva, right, Tom? That's right. Work that hard to get the count to 3-2. Gustafson has uncharacteristically struggled a little bit in this game. Wind up in the pitch. Hit high in the air, right side. Calabrese racing over and will make the catch. And the runner will retreat back to first. They nearly doubled him up. The One away. Edgar Velasquez, the center fielder, will step in. Velasquez is 0 for 2 today. Gustafson from the stretch. There's a strike. Put a little extra on there, and he got to the plate quick, lifted his leg, and drove towards home plate. The 0 1. Breaking pitch, and it gets away from Jewett. Runner taking off, and they don't got him. Wow. I don't know about that. Jewett went around the back, it looks like because the throw was offline and put the tag on it, but he was in there safe. I think he slid right under that. Stolen base for Foyle. Was not a drop tag. Nope. If I'm calling that from here, I'm calling that safe as well. All right, call it. Go ahead. <laughs> safe. All right. 
The one one. And that's fouled away. One and two. No warm up action for post 77. That means he's going the buck five. That's the pitch limit in American Legion, 105 pitches. Check it at second, that goes off the runner. Glassburn picks it up. Not practicing that play, I don't know whether that was a good idea. You don't think they practiced it? No, I really don't. I haven't seen it all year. And this is hit in the air, left side, and a dive, and a catch! Wow, what a catch there. Kevin Ballowitz. By Kevin Ballowitz. In for Sam Farrell with a tremendous catch. Well, doesn't have as nice a derriere as Farrell, but he got the job done. That was fan voting, by the way, Steve. Now that's some great defense right there. Yeah. It certainly Web is. Gem. That was a run-saving play. Has it at the plate, takes ball one. Two outs, runner on second. Post 77 trying to hang on to a six to two lead here in the top of the fourth. Gustafson looks at second and deals, swing and a miss. Ooh, feel that up here, feel the breeze. I think we have a reporter from the Lowell Sun in here. Maybe he goes out the window if Lowell wins. What do you think? Long, long way down. <laughs> Top of the fourth inning, Kevin Balowitz will step to the plate. He was at the plate to end last inning. Nick Calabrese ended the bottom of the third as he was caught stealing. A 6-2 to two lead for post 77. There is a new pitcher for Lowell, Brock Pear in the game to take over for Pat Crowley. Crowley pitched three innings, giving up six earned runs and seven hits. Fouled away. 0-1 oh, on Balowitz, who made a tremendous catch uh, what was in the top about? of the inning. Roma threw the ball back to Pear. Almost went in his, right in his kisser, right over his head. Ballowitz hit a 353 during the Legion season, 429 on base percentage. And although Farrell has done very well defensively, Ballowitz might have just stole his job. With that catch, I'd say so. And with the way he's been hitting the ball. And he'll get a piece of this one. Slow roller picked up by the shortstop. Throw to first is high, and Balowitz is safe. That goes into the crowd, and he's automatically going to get second base as well. Hope everybody's okay down the first baseline. Edgar <laughs> Velasquez, or uh, excuse me, Ray Velasquez. A little too much on that one. Did you say Hector Velasquez? I said Edgar. He has the Red Sox on his mind, Larry. Yeah, I know. So a, down to Pawtucket. I'm giving that a single and an error. Oh, I'm going to go e, e, e six the whole way on that. The whole way. All right. E, e, e six. Brandon Grover will step in. What a way to start for Paris. I mean, mm. pair. That throw was so strong that could have landed over on the football field. Yeah. As soon as he threw that, I said, yeah, ah, yeah. You, you just had a feeling. Going. Yeah. Airmail. Yeah. Special delivery. Here it comes. <laughs> I think that was an anger throw. Still angry over that non-call last inning, perhaps? Well, that sort of, you know, Jackson Horning made a similar throw uh, several games ago. That is true. One of the worst plays he's ever made in his entire life. <laughs> <laughs> I said as much. Grover gets a piece of this one. It's foul. Honest Larry over here. Well, you saw it, didn't you? I did. Uh, 20 feet over. Which game was that? Uh, Last week? That was at Ashley Middle School. It's rear back and... I forget what game that was, but I know what you're talking about. Up high. It's the Hudson game. Ah. Weird things tend to happen in Ashland-Hudson games this year. 
the 1-1. One, one. Runner on second, no outs. A 6-2 post-77 lead as this is hit very high in the air. Left side, battling the lights, making the catch is Zach Ishier. Runner stays put at second, one away. That'll bring up Jackson Hornung, who's two for two today with a pair of runs. He's my offensive star of the game so far. How about you? Well, you know what? Just to play devil's advocate, yes, I'll throw Drew Rankatori into the mix. Well, yeah. A single, two RBI single. But yeah, Jackson Horning has just tattooed the ball today. We'll see if he continues it here. Intentional walk. The four-fingered salute they give him. The Different from the one-fingered salute. Kavanaugh. Second intentional walk of the game by Lowell. They walked Kavanaugh last inning. So it's first and second, one out. Dom Kavanaugh steps in now. Well, the first time they did that, it backfired. It didn't work. We'll see if this one works. Brock Pear set to deal. In there for a strike. He's got a pretty good hose, Pear. Got long legs, too. Not sure why he didn't start today's game. And this is up the middle, off the glove of Pear, picked up by the second baseman. We'll step on second for one to throw to first, and he's in time. A 4-3 to three double play to retire the side in the bottom of the fourth. To the top of the fifth we go. Post-77 leading Lowell 6-2 to two on the Asher Legion Baseball Network. He's got a pretty good hose pair. Top of the fifth inning. 3-4 and 5 to up. Ray Velasquez, Zach Gishier, Kyle DeRoma, Luke Gustafson in the game. Pitched very well last inning. And he's pitched pretty well overall against a very tough low lineup. He's given up eight hits and two runs so far. To be fair, we've seen him sharper. Oh, we certainly have. You know, Gustafson, he's not the most overpowering pitcher, but he's a guy that is just known to throw many different kinds of pitches at you and have you fooled. And the umpire uh, adjusting his face mask, the home plate hump. So a official's delay here at Mahan Field in Natick. A 6-2 lead, four posts, 77, 3-4, and 5 do up for Can we Lowell. get them some music to play? Gray Velasquez, Zach Gishier, and Kyle DeRoma do up. And Lowell certainly has to get some offense going if they want to get back into this game. <laughs> Post 77 scored four runs in the bottom music. of the third. And now it seems like the home plate umpire ready to rock. Then expose his throat. Took the throat guard off. I think one of the straps broke. And obviously, that thing is useless with only one, one strap. Oh, wow. <laughs> Knowing from experience, I've had that happen to me. Oh, all right, well, hope he's got his cup on. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, Larry. I would hope so, right? Well, that brings me to my next question. Do, low. do base umpires wear uh, protectors? No. Okay. Although sometimes if you're doing a twin bill and you don't have a lot of time to uh, change and stuff, then you keep it on. Slightly high. Great question, though, Larry. Uh, thanks. What's up last night? <laughs> Late. The 2 0 outside. Want to keep Velasquez off base if you can. I'm sure at this point, if Velasquez ends up on first, it will certainly be a steal attempt. There's a strike. The 3 1. Swing and a miss. Full count. Wow, that fool Velasquez. A bad hack. The payoff pitch, time called. Now, if somebody was in California tuning into this station, could they hear us? They could hear Steve and I, but not you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wind up and the pitch. Yeah. There's a nasty pitch for strike three. One away. 
Yeah. Back in the dugout. Grab some pine. And it is pine in there. I'll bring up Zach no. Gish here. Nicely stained pine. Yeah. He wasn't too happy about it, but strike three. Yeah. Got a swing in that situation. That's all there is to it. Wind up in the pitch. Down low. That umpire has a pretty good hoo-ha. Not like Tom Hallion. That guy is a nut. In there for a strike, one and one. You ever seen Tom Hallion from the MLB? It's uh, intense. Yeah. We'll say. The yeah. batters don't like it. <laughs> they give them a the look. The one-one. Breaking pitch. A little high. Ooh. Two and one. Thought the up was going to raise his right hand. Thought about it. Here's the two one. Outside. Not even close. One Red out, is, base is clear. Red Sox had Tom Hallion when they were in Baltimore. He was terrific. He got one of the Red Sox guys out looking. The three one. Swing and a miss. Full count. Well, they had him this weekend and Angel Hernandez behind the plate today in their oh. game. <laughs> best umpire of all time. Yep. And, well, he'd tell you he's the best umpire in the world. <laughs> well, he is. He is. Don't you know? He'll sue you. Swing and a miss. Two straight strikeouts for Gustafson. And the whole plate umpire has something to say to Gish here. Kyle DeRoma will step in. Blink and you're gone, says the home plate umpire. So Zach Gishier just got a warning. They catch number 33, Kyle DeRoma. Kyle DeRoma will step in with two outs. What are you listening for, uh, Steve, as an umpire? Everything and anything. You know, it's, it's been scientifically proven that if you're the home plate umpire, your hearing actually improves. Bottom of the fifth inning. Five, six, and seven do up for post 77. Sean Jewett, Cole Glassburn, Alex Amalfi to face Brock Pear in his second inning of relief. Strike one. Starts Sean off with an off speed pitch. Been throwing mainly fastballs. That'll make it one and one. Wind up and the pitch. Fouled away. One and two. No matter how much you know that there's a chain link fence in front of you, the ball comes back, you still flinch. Yep. Hit high in the air, left side foul. Sean Jewett is one for two today. He's flown out and he had an RBI single as part of the four run third inning. Pair delivers, not hit him. Oh, he's going to stay right there. He said he made no attempt to get out of the way. Steven Simos would have got that call. Yeah, he should have just said I'm just very slow at getting out of the way. Oh, oh boy. Coach Lodi talking to the umpire about something. Not quite sure what this conversation's about. Second major conference. All right, so the local coach was questioning if it was in the strike zone. Because if you lower your body and your arm into the strike zone and it hits you, it could be called a strike, but that's tough to change that call from first base. You, you just can't do it. Right. So it's a two and two count on Jewett. Inside, that sits him down. Some nice cheese right underneath the nose. I think that was a little uh, yeah, warning that... there by the pitcher. I don't know. Swing and a miss, out number one. Cole Glassburn will step in. 
I think post post 87's dugout just got a little more animated. The second baseman number two, Cole Glassburn. Wind up in the pitch. Upstairs. There's a strike. Still low employing that squeeze the outfielder defense. Both lines available for Cole. Two and one is the count. So far, Cole Glassburn has walked and singled and scored a run. And he'll put this one up the right side. Very slow roller, and it's bobbled by the first baseman. The flip, is it in time? No. So Glassburn reaches. Oh, my God. He beat out a hit. The speedy Cole Glassburn races up the line and beats it out. Twinkle toes. Alex Amalfi will step in. This high school coach is hanging around, which I think he is. Get out the defibrillator. He beats out a head. Slow on the team. Yeah. Right, Larry? He's, he's Speaking of Larry, Lawrence Tang stepping in to pinch hit. Oh, he's a good-looking 15-year-old. Way bigger than me. That's saying something. <laughs> well, height-wise. One out single. Uh, one out, <laughs> excuse me, it was a strikeout and a single so far in this inning. A pitch down low. He plays for the Nakona Club out of Hopkinton. I won't tell you what street he lives on, but it's the name of a tree. <laughs> Good eye, too. Tang hit a 333 this season for Ashen Legion and nine at bats. And it's not Elm or Maple. And he has all kinds of power, we know that. Yeah. Gets a piece of this one, hit very high in the air. Velasquez tracking back to center field, called off by Velasquez. his brother, and Edgar makes the catch two away. The designated hitter number four, Drew Rankatori. Rankatori will step in. The professor. I wonder who's going to... I think what they'll probably do is move Rankatori over to first base and get rid of the DH spot. Yeah, I mean, Alex Amalfi's having a tough time of it at the plate. Up high. Now, it, Drew's previous at bat, he hit a worm burner right down the first baseline, and they're still playing, still playing 70 feet off the line. I don't get it. Pitch up high, 2-0. Oh. Brock Perez. Been pretty solid since coming in to relieve Pat Crowley in the fourth inning. He held his swing, but it was a strike anyway. He thought about it. Drew Rankatori has a pair of singles, including a two RBI single as part of that four-run third inning. Fouled away. Two and two. Winner of this game moves on to the state tournament at Milford's Vino Field. Saturday, 10 a.m. to take on Shrewsbury, the Zone 4 champions. Wind up and the pitch. Gets a piece of this one and it's foul. And for those of you foodies out there, they have an unbelievable sausage, pepper, and onion sandwich down at Fino Field. And why is that, Larry? Because uh, it's cooked out on a grill. Mm, well, yeah. And it's an Italian sausage. Yeah. And it's on bread. Yeah. It's done just right. Inside. Full count. And my mom is the one who runs that concession stand. No way. She charged me six bucks for that sub the last time. <laughs> you got to take that up with her. <laughs> it said five dollars on the sign. <laughs> Ten for you. <laughs> I don't blame them for charging you more. And it, this is hit up the right side, picked up by the first baseman, and he will hobble over to first and step on the bag for the third out. We'll head on to the top of the sixth. Ashland leading Lowell 6-2 to two on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. And my mom is the one who runs that concession stand. No way. 
She charged me six bucks for that sub the last time. You got to take that up with her. It said five dollars on the sign. <laughs> Ten for you. I don't blame them for charging you more. And it, this is hit up the right side, picked up by the first baseman, and he will hobble over to first and step on the bag for the third out. We'll head on to the top of the sixth. Ashland Lee. Leading Lowell 6-2 on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. And my mom is the one who runs that concession stand. No way. She charged me six bucks for that sub the last <laughs> You got to take that up with her. It said five dollars on the sign. <laughs> Ten for you. I don't blame them for charging you more. And it, this is hit up the right side, picked up by the first baseman, and he will hobble over to first and step on the bag. For the third out, we'll head on to the top of the sixth. Ashland Lee leading Lowell 6-2 on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. And my mom is the one who runs that concession stand. No way. She charged me six bucks for that sub the last time. You got to take that up with her. It said five dollars on the sign. <laughs> Ten for you. I don't blame them for charging you more. And it, this is hit up the right side, picked up by the first baseman, and he will hobble over to first and step on the bag for the third out. We'll head on to the top of the sixth. Ashland Lee leading Lowell 6-2 to two on the National Legion Baseball Network. And my mom is the one who runs that concession stand. No way. She charged me six bucks for that sub the last <laughs> You got to take that up with her. It said five dollars on the sign. <laughs> Ten for you. <laughs> I don't blame them for charging you more. And it, this is hit up the right side, picked up by the first baseman, and he will hobble over to first and step on the bag for the third out. We'll head on to the top of the sixth. Ashland Lee leading Lowell 6-2 to two on the National Legion Baseball Network. And my mom is the one who runs that concession stand. No way. She charged me six bucks for that sub the last time. You got to take that up with her. It said five dollars on the sign. <laughs> Ten for you. I don't blame them for charging you more. And it, this is hit up the right side, picked up by the first baseman, and he will hobble over to first and step on the bag for the third out. We'll head on to the top of the sixth. Ashland Lee leading Lowell 6-2 to two on the National Legion Baseball Network. And my mom is the one who runs that concession stand. No way. She charged me six bucks for that sub the last time. You got to take that up with her. It said five dollars on the sign. <laughs> Ten for you. I don't blame them for charging you more. And it, this is hit up the right side, picked up by the first baseman, and he will hobble over to first and step on the bag for the third out. We'll head on to the top of the sixth. Ashland Lee leading Lowell 6-2 to two on the National Legion Baseball Network. And my mom is the one who runs that concession stand. No way. She charged me six bucks for that sub the last time. <laughs> you got to take that up with her. It said five dollars on the sign. <laughs> Ten for you. I don't blame them for charging you more. And it, this is hit up the right side, picked up by the first baseman, and he will hobble over to first and step on the bag. For the third out, we'll head on to the top of the sixth. Ashland Lee leading Lowell 6-2 to two on the National Legion Baseball Network. And my mom is the one who runs that concession stand. No way. She charged me six bucks for that sub the last time. <laughs> you got to take that up with her. It said five dollars on the sign. <laughs> Ten for you. I don't blame them for charging you more. And it, this is hit up the right side, picked up by the first baseman, and he will hobble over to first and step on the bag for the third out. We'll head on to the top of the sixth. Ashland Lee leading Lowell 6-2 to two on the National Legion Baseball Network. And my mom is the one who runs that concession stand. No way. She charged me six bucks for that sub the last time. You got to take that up with her. It said five dollars on the sign. <laughs> Ten for you. I don't blame them for charging you more. And it, this is hit up the right side, picked up by the first baseman, and he will hobble over to first and step on the bag for the third out. We'll head on to the top of the sixth. Ashland Lee leading Lowell 6-2 to two on the 
National Legion Baseball Network. And my mom is the one who runs that concession stand. No way. She charged me six bucks for that sub the last <laughs> You got to take that up with her. It said five dollars on the sign. <laughs> Ten for you. <laughs> I don't blame them for charging you more. And this is hit up the right side, picked up by the first baseman, and he will hobble over to first and step on the bag for the third out. We'll head on to the top of the sixth. Ashland leading Lowell 6-2 to two on the National Legion Baseball Network. And my mom is the one who runs that concession stand. No way. She charged me six bucks for that sub the last <laughs> You got to take that up with her. It said five dollars on the sign. <laughs> Ten for you. <laughs> I don't blame them for charging you more. And it, this is hit up the right side, picked up by the first baseman, and he will hobble over to first and step on the bag for the third out. We'll head on to the top of the sixth. Ashland leading Lowell 6-2 to two on the National Legion Baseball Network. And my mom is the one who runs that concession stand. No way. She charged me six bucks for that sub the last time. You got to take that up with her. It said five dollars on the sign. <laughs> Ten for you. I don't blame them for charging you more. And it, this is hit up the right side, picked up by the first baseman, and he will hobble over to first and step on the bag for the third out. We'll head on to the top of the sixth. Ashland leading Lowell six to two on the National Legion Baseball Network. And my mom is the one who runs that concession stand. No way. She charged me six bucks for that sub the last <laughs> You got to take that up with her. It said five dollars on the sign. <laughs> Ten for you. I don't blame them for charging you more. And it, this is hit up the right side, picked up by the first baseman, and he will hobble over to first and step on the bag for the third out. We'll head on to the top of the sixth. Ashland leading Lowell six to two on the National Legion Baseball Network. And my mom is the one who runs that concession stand. No way. She charged me six bucks for that sub the last <laughs> You got to take that up with her. It said five dollars on the sign. <laughs> Ten for you. I don't blame them for charging you more. And it, this is hit up the right side, picked up by the first baseman, and he will hobble over to first and step on the bag. For the third out, we'll head on to the top of the sixth. Ashland leading Lowell 6-2 to two on the National Legion Baseball Network. And my mom is the one who runs that concession stand. No way. She charged me six bucks for that sub the last time. You got to take that up with her. It said five dollars on the sign. <laughs> Ten for you. I don't blame them for charging you more. And it, this is hit up the right side, picked up by the first baseman, and he will hobble over to first and step on the bag for the third out. We'll head on to the top of the sixth. Ashland leading Lowell 6-2 to two on the National Legion Baseball Network. And my mom is the one who runs that concession stand. No way. She charged me six bucks for that sub the last <laughs> You got to take that up with her. It said five dollars on the sign. <laughs> Ten for you. <laughs> I don't blame them for charging you more. And it, this is hit up the right side, picked up by the first baseman, and he will hobble over to first and step on the bag for the third out. We'll head on to the top of the sixth. Ashland leading Lowell 6-2 to two on the National Legion Baseball Network. And my mom is the one who runs that concession stand. No way. She charged me six bucks for that sub the last time. You got to take that up with her. It said five dollars on the sign. <laughs> Ten for you. I don't blame them for charging you more. And it, this is hit up the right side, picked up by the first baseman, and he will hobble over to first and step on the bag for the third out. We'll head on to the top of the sixth. Ashland leading Lowell 6-2 to two on the National Legion Baseball Network. And my mom is the one who runs that concession stand. No way. She charged me six bucks for that sub the last time. <laughs> you got to take that up with her. It said five dollars on the sign. <laughs> Ten for you. I don't blame them for charging you more. And it, this is hit up the right side, picked up by the first baseman, and he will hobble over to first and step on the bag 
for the third out. We'll head on to the top of the sixth. Ashland leading Lowell 6-2 on the National Legion Baseball Network. And my mom is the one who runs that concession stand. No way. She charged me six bucks for that sub the last <laughs> You gotta take that up with her. It said five dollars on the sign. <laughs> Ten for you. <laughs> I don't blame them for charging you more. And it, this is hit up the right side, picked up by the first baseman, and he will hobble over to first and step on the bag for the third out. We'll head on to the top of the sixth. Ashland leading Lowell six to two on the National Legion Baseball Network. And my mom is the one who runs that concession stand. No way. She charged me six bucks for that sub the last <laughs> You got to take that up with her. <laughs> it said five dollars on the sign. <laughs> Ten for you. <laughs> I don't blame them for charging you more. And it, this is hit up the right side, picked up by the first baseman, and he will hobble over to first and step on the bag for the third out. We'll head on to the top of the sixth. Ashland Lee leading Lowell six to two on the National Legion Baseball Network. And my mom is the one who runs that concession stand. No way. She charged me six bucks for that sub the last time. <laughs> you got to take that up with her. <laughs> it said five dollars on the sign. <laughs> Ten for you. <laughs> I don't blame them for charging you more. And it, this is hit up the right side, picked up by the first baseman, and he will hobble over to first and step on the bag for the third out. We'll head on to the top of the sixth. Ashland Lee leading Lowell six to two on the. National Legion Baseball Network. And my mom is the one who runs that concession stand. No way. She charged me six bucks for that sub the last <laughs> You got to take that up with her. It said five dollars on the sign. <laughs> Ten for you. <laughs> I don't blame them for charging you more. And it, this is hit up the right side, picked up by the first baseman, and he will hobble over to first and step on the bag. For the third out, we'll head on to the top of the sixth. Ashland leading Lowell 6-2 to two on the National Legion Baseball Network. And my mom is the one who runs that concession stand. No way. She charged me six bucks for that sub the last <laughs> You got to take that up with her. <laughs> it said five dollars on the sign. <laughs> Ten for you. <laughs> I don't blame them for charging you more. And it, this is hit up the right side, picked up by the first baseman, and he will hobble over to first and step on the bag for the third out. We'll head on to the top of the sixth. Ashland Lee leading Lowell 6-2 to two on the National Legion Baseball Network. And my mom is the one who runs that concession stand. No way. She charged me six bucks for that sub the last time. <laughs> you got to take that up with her. It said five dollars on the sign. <laughs> Ten for you. <laughs> I don't blame them for charging you more. And it, this is hit up the right side, picked up by the first baseman, and he will hobble over to first and step on the bag for the third out. We'll head on to the top of the sixth. Ashland Lee leading Lowell 6-2 to two on the National Legion Baseball Network. And my mom is the one who runs that concession stand. No way. She charged me six bucks for that sub the last time. You got to take that up with her. It said five dollars on the sign. <laughs> Ten for you. <laughs> I don't blame them for charging you more. And it, this is hit up the right side, picked up by the first baseman, and he will hobble over to first and step on the bag for the third out. We'll head on to the top of the sixth. Ashland Lee leading Lowell six to two on the National Legion Baseball Network. And my mom is the one who runs that concession stand. No way. She charged me six bucks for that sub the last time. <laughs> you got to take that up with her. <laughs> it said five dollars on the sign. <laughs> Ten for you. <laughs> I don't blame them for charging you more. And it, this is hit up the right side, picked up by the first baseman, and he will hobble over to first and step on the bag for the third out. We'll head on to the top of the sixth. Ashland Lee leading Lowell six to two on the National Legion Baseball Network. And my mom is the one who runs that concession stand. No way. She charged me six bucks for that sub the last time. <laughs> you got to take that up with her. It said five dollars on the sign. <laughs> Ten for you. <laughs> I don't blame them for charging you more. 
And it, this is hit up the right side, picked up by the first baseman, and he will hobble over to first and step on the bag for the third out. We'll head on to the top of the sixth. Ashland Lee leading Lowell 6-2 on the National Legion Baseball Network. And my mom is the one who runs that concession stand. No way. She charged me six bucks for that sub the last <laughs> You gotta take that up with her. It said five dollars on the sign. <laughs> Ten for you. <laughs> I don't blame them for charging you more. And it, this is hit up the right side, picked up by the first baseman, and he will hobble over to first and step on the bag for the third out. We'll head on to the top of the sixth. Ashland Lee leading Lowell six to two on the National Legion Baseball Network. And my mom is the one who runs that concession stand. No way. She charged me six bucks for that sub the last <laughs> You got to take the colors on the sign. <laughs> I don't blame them for charging you more. And, and it, this is hit up the right side, Ben, and he will hobble the bag for the third out. We'll head on, on to the top of the sixth. Ashland Lee. Beating Lowell 6-2 on the end. 